All right, so you too, Anthony Paul, Aikido, Virginia Beach, and Iwama Warriors, we're back again. Uh, this one came from our very own camera guy, Jeff. All right, give yourself a little shout. Give it a turnaround. Yay. yay, Jeff, right? Everyone, yay. yay. All right, he's the one that does all the work for us. He does a friggin' amazing job. Um, so thanks. He was talking about doing, yeah, there's a thumbs up. The thumb of approval. All right, he was talking about Ushiro Wazas and techniques we can do. So we're gonna do some static, and then we're gonna do some in motion or a wase. So starting off basic, he's gonna come up from behind, he's gonna grab uh, Rio Te. Right? He has my wrist. Now, I said in one of the other videos, good practice, have your partner resist a little bit, especially when you're Udonchas. Right? If I sit, let me, uh, no, so bad technique. If I do this, I pulled him forward. Not many people are gonna be able to pull somebody their size or bigger forward like this, right? No, right? Slide your body, use it as an atemi, right? Now, right here in front of me, I have a sonkyo, so I'm gonna go in here, grab my sonkyo, right? So, grabbing here, right? This time my hands are here, I raise up thinking boken, right? Here, grab the sonkyo, keep it in front of me. Right? Get that sonkyo in there, partner starts moving. I can have it out here, I can have it here. Now I take that into a pin. Right, take it into a Sankyo, a standing Sankyo pin here, or take it into a nice little Yubi Dory, placing it on their back. Right? So again, in Sankyo. If I'm doing it wrong, you know, resist. You know, if I'm sitting there doing doing this, I'm not gonna get the technique. Right? That's just gonna bad practice. Slide in. Use the body as an temi. Right? So here. Think third subuti, right? Raise up from your center. Look that hand the whole time. Right? Get that sankyo. I'll back off a little bit. Right? Get that sankyo. Have it in close or have it out here. Now you can go a multi in front like I did. Pulling the thing in front, getting a sankyo pin. Come back up. Right. Right? Or I'm doing utawaza, which stays behind me. Right? Nice little sankyo here. Right? Turning. Right? Push thumb to thumb. Turn. You can use your leg in there too. And submit your partner. So that's static for Sankyo, right? So starting uh, in motion, right? He goes to grab, I keep this in front of me, right? I keep this in front of me the whole time. I gotta keep moving in front, in front, in front, in front. Sankyo. Because uh, if this gets behind me, right? So if I let partner get here and I bring this over, he just, you know, pulled me over. Like we said in the other video, if there's an opening, take the opening. Right? Train with your partner, push your partner. You know, you do something wrong, don't let partner keep doing it. How effective would a uh, you know, technique be if, hey, um, I heard this one time and it pisses me off to this day and you know who you are. Um, I don't care if I do it right one time and wrong the rest of the time, it's good enough for me. That's what's wrong with Aikido, right? If you do it wrong and your partner recognizes you do it wrong, or whoever you're working with, hey, it's wrong. Oh, we should probably fix that, right? That's good Aikido. Not, I do this technique, and this behind me, and then I get to Sankyo, and then I go to, you know, do it with somebody more advanced, or I do it showing my students, and my students start doing stupid stuff like letting their hand go back here, and it goes uncorrected, and it's just bad practice. Right. So keeping this, I'm gonna keep it in front of me the whole time. He comes in and grabs, in front, in front, in front. Get the sankyo. Faster he comes around, the faster that sankyo goes in there, doesn't it? Hi. Right. And I go a mote. You know, pull it down. Get a mote here. Get that sankyo pin. So I can use my leg and I can press and get sankyo. Right. Come around, get a nice little yubi dory. Right. Yubi dory and lock oh. fingers. 
you know, kind of really blocking out the wrist. It just, you can find different things. OG loves Yubi Dory or a variation of it. He just loves it. <laughs> he's shaking his head. It's opposite day. He might shake his head no, but he's really saying yes. <laughs> he's giving me the ensign salute there. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> All right, so that's, you know, Sankyo from uh, Static, you know, where he starts behind, and then Sankyo from, you know, more in motion, Owase. All right, next thing we're going to talk about is grabbing uh, the shoulders. Uh, Shiro Ryokata Dori. Right, so if a couple of ways you can look at this, right? I slide my body in, right? Depending on what technique I want, I can use my body as an temi, right? Ducking through, and I can get a kokyu ho, right? If I create distance, I have different opportunities and options uh, for techniques, right? So if I create this distance and I turn, right? I have an temi right here to the face, right? I got an temi right here, right? I can do a kokyu ho here. His arms up there right into an ikkyo, right? Drive him right in for an ikkyo, and I can pin for an ikkyo, and bring it up, trap the arm, shin against there, right against the tricep. Right, come around, pin right here, keeping him from just grabbing my feet as I step off and watch the partner. Right. So again, shoulders, right? If I back up, you know, I have a koki ho right here that I can do with partner. If you uh, if you stay wide, you know, just think about you don't know what foot they have forward, right? So I have an attempt right here, right? Now I can come back up. His arms already up there. He's already off balance. I can probably push him back like that. You're off balance at that point, right? So come in here, oh. turning, right? You got an attempt. Got your got your forearm. You got a fist. You got an attempt right there. Right? Break that grip. He's giving me Ikkyo. Right into a pin. You good? So that's from static. Right? So then he comes around. He's gonna change up. Right into Ikkyo. Slow stat or slow watch it. So he comes in here. I have to move. Right? I gotta move. I don't wanna. I just became static, right? So, come back around. As he's coming towards me, I have to move off that line. He's over, 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 right, over, 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 fine, boom. Keep moving. Into an auto right? And keep turning. So one more time. He comes in. Right, slow, he comes in. Turn, turn, turn. Back, I go to multi, right? Uh, a little faster. Comes in here, turn, 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 turn. Good? Yep. More of an Otawaza, depending on partner. And, you know, again, if I do it sloppy or I do it wrong, I'd expect him to tell me. Right? Not the internet trolls and damn keyboard commanders, but people I train with. People higher than me, people my rank, my teacher, you know. Um, you know, people who watch us, they're like, hey, what if you do it this way? Or, hey, I see an opening here. That's something we can take a look at. But if you're gonna do it wrong, and keep doing it wrong, and do it wrong, and do it wrong, and do it wrong, what's the point of training? What's the point of teaching somebody, right? If you do it wrong, fix it. Simple, right? But uh, that's all we have for that one. It was, you know, just showing some different Static, you know, uh, and an awase, and just breaking it down a little bit. If you guys want to see more of a breakdown with it or some different techniques, hit us up. Leave a comment. Message us on Facebook, Aikido Virginia Beach. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. And like it, share it, subscribe it, hit the thumbs up. Catch you guys later.